welcome to our garden update. We are uh, along what the old tennis courts of the Dunsmuirs. This is an area that often is used more as a passageway as opposed to garden, but there's many interesting plants in here. Uh, behind me you can see the sea lupin or maritime lupin that usually grows down on the seashore, but we have like a massive clump of it here. We have several alpine plants that are doing well in sort of the rocky, well-drained soil that we have in here. Behind the lupin, if you looked, you could see the old tennis courts that the Dunsmuirs played on. And in fact, when I first started here, they were still in use, but um, have sort of fallen into disrepair since. On the other side of me, we have kind of a, a selection of trees and shrubs that maybe are not that well known. We have uh, eucalyptus, the snow gum, and it has white uh, olive, sort of beige bark that peels and everybody usually comes along and asks what that is. It's very, very distinctive. It's one of the hardiest eucalyptus you can find. We also have a this Chilean lantern shrub, Crinodendron hookeri, which has these bright red lanterns. Paper bark maple, if you look, the, the bark on it is very flaky and peels off. So it's actually more attractive when it doesn't have leaves and you can see the full effect of the shaggy bark on it. So, this is Aramuris or foxtail lily. It grows, uh, I think, from the Caucasus in very high, sort of rocky areas. So it's, it's used to doing without a lot of soil and seems to do well here. It has these very tall flower heads on it. Here we have a terrestrial orchid called Blatilla striata. And this one is a, a dark pink. They also come in pale pink, white. So just a very beautiful orchid that uh, most people don't realize they can grow themselves outside. If you look at the flower, you can see the um, little stripes, which like, are called bee guides, or really it's a guide for a pollinator, to show that if they go up there, they're probably going to find some sort of nectar or reward for going up and pollinating the flower. We have uh, new guests at Royal Roads, and it's the honeybees. We have a uh, hive and a half here. Uh, we started off with one hive over the winter and they did very well and were in fact multiplying when they were checked early spring. There's certainly plenty of flowers for them to go out and uh, collect from. So we're hoping to um, see again good success with these and maybe get some honey out of this in the next year or two. Thank you for coming out this week. I'm sure you thought we were going to go to the Rose Garden and so did we. But in fact, they're not fully out yet, so I think you'll get a better show next week, and I hope to see you then.